Economic water quantity, production quantity model. How much should we water in a production facility? So um, we'll see that um, theory in this video. So some of the um, notation, the total demand per year is capital D, demand rate per day is um, small d, production rate P, and the water quantity Q as you have seen before, and watering cost per water and also holding cost per unit. Um, so the if we place a Q amount of water, and then um, so, and then um, the production rate is P, then when we place the water, so this is how the production quantity model look like. So, so we place the water Q, so we start making the product, and then here we finish making the product, and then it will use, go back to zero, we again start the production, and go like this like that. So here on this line, we have both demand, also production, demand plus production. But on here, we only have the demand. So to determine the number of inventory, so this X is the inventory. And let's say this is our timeline. So we want to determine the number of inventory, average inventory. To calculate the holding cost, we need that. So when the water is placed at the same time, if we place Q amount of water and it is produced uh, P unit per day, so um, it's going to take um, Q by P number of days to produce that uh, water that we have placed Q. And then if it used during that time, the demand rate is uh, D, then the total amount of unit will be used during that time is this number of days in production times the demand that time. So then if we place key water, so inventory during that time, the time it takes to make Q number of units, uh, the inventory will be used during that time is Q by P times D like that. So we can write Q one minus D by P, I make a typo here, this should be P. So if we have zero inventory at the beginning and the maximum is Q times one minus D by P, so the average would be basically, the average number of inventory here, the, the maximum which is Q one plus D by one minus D by P plus zero divided by two. So the average number of inventory is basically uh, this is by, so uh, I can do like this, Q1 minus D by P, by two. So if this is the average number of inventory we are holding, and then the holding cost per unit is CC. So this is basically the total holding cost or carrying cost. And then the total ordering cost, the total number of water is basically, if our demand is D, if we place Q number of water, so that will be the total number of water times the ordering cost C0. So this is the order cost. If we add these two, then the total cost will be uh, D Q C0 plus Q CC divided by two, one minus DP, like that. And then if we plot this um, total, uh, for example, this holding cost is a, a straight line through the origin. So if you, if you plot, let's say the inventory cost versus the um, order size Q, then you can see this is a constant. So this can be Y equal uh, MX type of situation. So it's a straight line through the origin. On the other hand, the watering cost um, is Y equals some constant by X. So it's gonna be an inverse curve like this. 
So the total will be something like this, similar what we have seen before in the basic economic model. So the optimum cost will be somewhere in the line where the slope is zero. The line parallel to x-axis. So simply we can differentiate this total cost to find the optimum number of inventory like that. So it's going to be minus uh, d by q square c0 plus cc by 2 1 minus d by p. Now if you solve for q you'll find um, 2c0d divided by cc 1 minus d by p. So that will be our optimum level of inventory order where our cost will be minimized. In the next video, I'll show you how to use this formula to solve a problem.